What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on Black Desert on our ninja character. And uh, you can see pretty close to 54. So I was able to grind. It only took about an hour to get from 3% uh, of 53 to this 96. And I made a trip back to town and did a couple of things there. So it was a little bit better than that. Um, I redeemed a bunch of stuff, so it's not all on me. But I did... I did get an Asula's Weakened uh, Crimson Eye Necklace that you use for upgrades. And I got another Asula's Crimson Eye Necklace, which is now on my Sorceress as a pry, because I used the Weakened to make it pry. Um, as soon as I'm done playing on this character, or if I get another Asula's Crimson Eye Necklace, I will make the one on my Sorceress Duo. Um, and then we'll have to figure out what to do after that. But... Right now we need to defeat the Abandoned Iron Mine Executor. And then I'll show you the rotation that I was doing over here. This is what I did to level up. And so we'll do that right after this boss fight. And we need to go over skills in this episode once I hit level 54. So looking forward to that. Alright. Abandoned Iron Mine Executor. Don't actually remember fighting this guy ever. No, it's too far away for that. Let's get behind him. Alright, he's got some movement to him, so he's a little bit... Not difficult, because none of these guys do enough damage to me for me to care, but... He's a little bit more challenging because he has some more movement. It's kind of hard to get behind, but... Not too hard. Okay! We got... Alright, game, you're just gonna spawn these dudes here with him? Oh, and he runs. Okay. Can we not do this? <clears throat> Let's do that. Go. Alright, there we go. Cleaned him up was a little bit uh, a little bit more questionable than normal at the end there but clean that up no problem okay so here's how this went we'll do the rotation here it doesn't take too long so I grab these guys and bring them over here and then we start fighting these guys and this should get us to level 54 there should be plenty of experience stop stunning me. So I'm going to spin around this way a little bit and then lead them over here so we can fight these guys. This camera angle is... Oh, that's something. Just clearing up most of these guys. You get a fair amount of, of drops. I'm actually going to, in a second here, just for purposes of the video. I have enough of these stored. I'm just going to pop one of those. I'm not going to pop one of my 100% XPs because I don't know what we're doing in this episode. And those are finite. And if I want to get to 58, i got to be kind of intelligent about this. Pop those when I can farm for an hour. I have a bunch on my Sorceress, but obviously I want to level her up still. She's not done leveling at 56, so... I still do need those. That's the attack right there that I need to do more. I just haven't been doing it enough. And it's a really good attack. But now I'm going to grab these guys. And then pick these guys up and come right here. Go. This is a, it's a really dense spot. I don't think I like this as much as the other spot. Um, the other spot you can is a little bit it may, this might be better, but object objectively this might be a little bit better, but I like the other spot a little bit more. And I'll show you on the map once I finish up the rotation here exactly where we are. Okay, we're so close to getting to 54.
clean these guys up. Oh my gosh, really, bro? Okay. I guess I'll kill these dr this drummer. They're really quick to kill. And there we go. There's level 54. I have no idea how much these guys will give me now in terms of experience at 54. Hey. Yeah. They're kind of not worth it anymore once I hit this point, but... Okay, can I get unstuck? Because usually... I think one of these rotations gave me like 10% or maybe a little bit like 6%. Something like that. I don't think it's going to... I might be lucky to get like 2% off of this. So now you grab these guys and you take them over here. Jump the guards. And then come back here. And everybody should follow you back up here. No issues. And you can slaughter them in this corner. Just spin around and get out of the corner, actually. Finish all of these guys up. We're almost done with the rotation. Now, the final spot. You come up this hill here. You're going to grab these dudes, so just run real close and tight into them. And then run tight to those guys. Hop over these guys back here. And you are good to go. And now the slaughter fest back here begins. Yeah, it looks like I... I'll see what I get for killing these guys. The last two spots are a little bit more experienced than the other spots, so I have to kind of gauge my... I gotta lower my expectation for that, uh, for experience over the full rotation. If the rotation's still good, I might do continue it. Not in this video, but yeah, I probably get like 5%. It's kind of a long rotation, so 5% probably, probably the point in which we need to move on. But you can see I take this pathway up top here because then it allows me to go all the way back to the beginning. You can see most of those enemies have reset. Sometimes there'll be a bigger enemy here, um, but obviously that's just RNG based on whether they'll spawn. And then you're back here. You can come down here and grab these guys, head back up and grab these guys, and continue. So we'll kill these guys out, and then we will go um, continue the story. Let me stop getting stunned. Go kill those guys out. And the big thing that you get from this that you need to pay attention to is these bad boys, the broken shackles. Need a thousand of them to turn them in for one million gold, essentially. Uh, which is a fine deal, it's whatever. Um, but they do weigh a decent amount, so they do weigh you, they'll weigh you down. Okay. So that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and head back. I'll show you guys on the map exactly where we are here before I make my cut. So we are right in... Okay. Game. We're like right in here. Uh, that's where you want to set your marker. And so that's where that's where it'll take you. Actually, we're going to be there in just a second. Um, you'll take this road down. And if you just take the road right here, right here, or right here... Those two veins that come up, they're kind of the two um, different paths that you can take to get to that location. I'm going to kill these guys. I need to kill two more chasers, so if we see any chasers on the map, I'm going to stop and kill them. Because I need 12 more of them to complete that quest that I took. Uh, I want to kill this guy because... Hold on, bro. You're not just doing, like, 500 million damage to him. Okay, come over here so I can kill these chasers while I'm killing you. There go. Clean that up. We need a couple more chasers. Overall, this area is really good, and it's really easy. It's, no, it's not an area that you really have to pay attention or care what's happening. You should be able to clean everything up pretty easily, to be honest. I didn't really... I The only time I came close to dying is when my batteries died and I had to put brand new batteries into my Xbox controller. And even then, I didn't die. So that should tell you all you need to know. And I was like mid-fight with a bunch of guys. So that should pretty much tell you all you need to know about 
the risk of death. Um, because they, they just don't do enough damage to you. I'm going to pop these just to see what we get. Okay, let's see. There's two chasers down here, it looks like. So let's go kill these guys real quick. Hello, everybody. Come over here. I'd like to get this quest done just so that I can get it off of my screen. And open up more. Because I'm always filling up all my quest slots, so I'd love to get it off of there and open the slot up for something else. Alright, wait for them to pick up. Can you guys pick this up, please? Thank you. Okay, it looks like there's a chase. There's a couple chasers over here. I'm gonna track these guys. Follow me, boys. And I have to level up anyway, so I might as well, you know... This is a little farming with a purpose. Don't... Clean the rest of them up. If you guys want to follow me over here, there's another chaser for me to kill. Okay, I guess I can't use that skill yet. I don't actually know the cooldown on my skills too well at this point. Still, I'm trying to learn them a little bit. We need to kill six more chasers. Okay. I can do that. Alright, where were... Oh, there's two chasers there. There's a bunch up here. Okay, let's grab that. Let's see if I can make my way up. I don't think I can... Huh. How do I get up there? Whale! Okay, screw that. We'll just come over here and kill this guy. This There's a chaser over here couple chasers over here. Alright, if you guys want to follow me over to the next chaser. Actually, where the heck was the next chaser? Oh, he's right here. Come here, little buddy. Need four more chasers. We can definitely get this finished up in this video. Looking for... Looking for four more chasers. There's two down at the bottom. I don't really want to go all the way to the down the bottom, but obviously I will if I have to. Ooh, looks like there's a little cluster of, like, three chasers over here. Hey, boys, get up. Yeah, three chasers over here. Nice. So we need one more chaser. Beautiful. Clean them up. We got 6% so far to level 55. I might go... There's a chance I'm going to go farm that place that I really liked on my sorceress that I found. Um, that It's a camp down at the bottom of the map. I don't remember the name of it. I'll show it. But that might be the next place I go farm on this character. That's where I went and farmed for a lot of what I needed um, to get to 56 on my sword. I need to go see about getting... And down there you can get the weakened Crimson Eye Ring. So that's really nice. Okay, can I stop getting stunned? Please? Oh my gosh. Stop stunning me, dudes. Brothers, stop stunning me. Cool. Avoid a bet. Heal. See, even like right there, I got kind of close. I got like stunned a couple times in a row. And it still really didn't come close to killing me. I have like 400 health left. Okay, okay. Dog can. Oh my gosh, unstunned. There we go. Clean him up. Oh my gosh, there's so many enemies here. Alright, you over here, big boy. Oh, 
Oh, it didn't dash me behind him. Okay, let's heal. Oh my gosh. It's the one annoying part about fighting these guys is that they stun you. Ooh, nice, a forbidden book. Take that. Get behind them. Gotta be close to dying. Unless he wasn't here the whole time. Because the good thing about the big guys when you're killing a bunch of other stuff is that you're just wailing on them while you're wailing on everything else to kill everything else. Alright, got a forbidden book. I'll take those every single time from those guys. Not only can I... I'll fight that stuff on my sork, but... Okay, how far away are we? Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Okay, we're not too far. Alright, let's bring everybody over here and we'll kill some more. We might as well farm our way around here. Pray for an Asul is set. Get up, get up, get up. There we go. Give them a second to pick up all my items. And I think we're almost there. I'm gonna ignore those ignore those guys. Ignore. Ignore. I'll kill him over here. Alright guys, you can hurry up a little bit. I have no idea what killing the chasers got me in terms of a reward, but Oh look, we're back at this area. We're back at my we're back at my good old favorite farming spot. Alright, everybody follow me up here. We're back to the good farming spot. Now, objectively, I think this is worse. I just kind of enjoy it more. Don't ask me why. Alright, I'm gonna kill those guys and let's get, let's let's keep going. We farmed this thing for like 40 minutes last episode. We don't need to do it again. Turn this quest in and see what awaits us next. Um, I don't think their aggro will lead them all the way over here. I say that as I see them running up the hill. Birthplace of the Witch is the next quest we got. Okay, so we need to talk to Chief Tariff. Where is he located at? Okay, so I'm going to cut it here, and I will catch you guys in a moment in Tariff. All right, we are back, and we need to rescue captives from wandering rogue prisons and defeat the wandering rogues nearby. So this will be the end of the episode will be fairly soon after the restart here. And this is the place that I literally, every time I come here, I get slaughtered. There's just, I understand that like, you know, I don't want to encroach on anybody's space, but sweet mother, there's not enough room here. For like two people to farm there really isn't without someone being like oh my gosh why do you have to be here go away and it's a main story spot which makes it even worse because you know everybody who's progressing has to come here but this could oh this is oh, i forgot i forgot this is this this is the stupid this is the terrible area with the these dudes that just punch the living lights out of you They just absolutely just destroy your soul. I don't like this spot. This spot is not. This spot is not a, a, a favorite of Nick. It's not a not a favorite of mine. I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna get rid of these wandering prisons and you know whatever's here that follows me, I'll kill it. All right, let's dance. See, if I can just crowd control them and keep putting them on the ground, that works. You just gotta keep, you just gotta keep putting them on the ground. You 
these guys take like no damage. Okay, okay, okay. Had about enough of this. All I remember is in my sorceress <laughs> playthrough, I got like absolutely destroyed by some of these guys because I got like trapped in a corner with like six of them and I just could not move. I'm going up here. If they follow me up here, I would be stunned. Okay, complete that. Now what is there? Investigate the dark powers used by Alez. Help. Where did you come from, brother? That dog just, like, teleported up there. Okay, so we can grab that. Eliminating obstacles. So we need to destroy wandering rogues and... Oh, gosh, we have to kill 50 of these things? Kill me now! All right, two down, 50 to go. You know what? I'm just going to kill, like, these guys, and you know what? Screw the big dudes. They don't give me that great of experience, and they're just annoying. So, you know what? Screw you guys. On to, oh my gosh, on to the next ones. We gotta kill these altars as well. I gotta kill... Actually, what are the obsidian altars? Well, I'm just gonna hope I figure out what an obsidian altar is along the way. Okay, I just tr set myself to a cliff. You die because you're weak. Those are just elemental stone towers. Uh, let's go up here, see if we can find a decent cluster. And find out what an obsidian shard or obsidian altar is. I clearly don't remember. Oh, it's is it this thing? It's this thing over here. All right, everybody, just follow me over here. We'll destroy this altar. Yo. If I can just avoid the big dudes, this is not actually that bad, but. You know, having to fight by avoiding these guys is not necessarily fun. Okay, I think it's time. It's time to go find another obsidian altar. Only got to find two more. And only got to kill 17 more dudes, so not bad. Let's go over here. I should probably finish the kills and then only the obsidian altars will show up. That would probably be the intelligent thing to do, but whatever. I will kill these guys. Okay, well, the stun is on. Can I please? Thank you. Slaughter you guys. Oh my gosh, stop it. Stop it. That's what I'm talking about. There's like six of them. Stop it. Chill. I need like all of you to chill. Chill. Chill, chill, chill. Go back here and destroy this. Oh my gosh. Stop it. Stop it. Oh my gosh, they're so stupid. Stop it, leave me alone. And, and here we go. Oh, I only gotta kill four more. You know what, I'm taking my revenge, you're all dying. Yeah. Victory. Okay, so now I gotta find one more of these stupid obsidian altars. I'm just gonna go back to the other one that I know where it is, and we'll kill that one. And then, obviously, I know that that's, that's a good spot. Yeah, see, look. It's back respawned. I mean, there's tight mobs here, but, you know, these mobs suck. Okay, I gotta find a safe spot. Please stop hitting me from behind. There's like no safe spot. Okay. I'm just gonna try to get this off quick. Quick. No, nope, no, nope, okay. This is this is uh um I gotta run like all the way out to the road here. 
Okay, all the way out to the road. I think we're good. Grab that, grab that. Oh, okay, it's boss time. So I'll do the boss in this episode just because it's bo It's a boss. So let's go ahead and do this. How far away are we? Do I need to cut it? Nah, we'll just run there. So I'm happy that I got this area out of the way. This area is awful. I did try to come here and farm it on my Sork. And that was just a stupid decision. That was like one of the dumber decisions I made in this. Not only did I get killed by like people, like random people. Like I killed like three times by this full team that was farming this area. And I was like, okay, well, I tried to find, like, my own spot, but they always came to my spot and just slaughtered my soul. Um, but also, I, uh, I got killed by the enemies because I kept getting stunned in the next dimension. Okay. Let's fight. I don't even remember which boss this is. I kind of remember most of the bosses at this point. I don't remember. Oh, it's just a big version of... It's just a big version of the dudes that punch me really hard and stun me. I forgot about this dude. Okay, well, while well, you're spawning in... Oh, I thought I was going to be able to beat behind him. As long as he doesn't summon any of those dudes that punch me, this will be fine. Okay, he summons regular wandering rogues, which is fine. <laughs> okay, I mean, if you're just gonna let me wail on your back, I'm all for that. What is he? Do oh no! Oh no! It's it's the big dudes. Hurry up! Kill him quick! Kill him quick! Oh, we're so close. What is my character doing? Heal, heal, turn the chat back off. You're dead. Die right here. There we go. All right. He did summon the stupid things that I didn't want him to summon, but that's all right. And we attracted a bunch of other guys. Are we, we're not, okay, we're not cool. Alright, dude, just die, go away. Oh my gosh, there's another one right there. Please, oh my gosh, he aggroed. Bro, this is like, the worst. Because these guys, you can't kill them quickly, so let me try to find a safe spot. Let me up on this hill. Okay. Well, this is something. Am I not, I'm really not... Oh my gosh, we gotta run all the way out to the road. Alright, let me get out of here. These guys' aggros are freaking... Look at that guy, he's still coming. Their aggros are ridiculous. I'm gonna jump off this cliff to try to create some separation. Can I... Can I be left alone? Thank you. Okay, complete that quest. Now we need to do a box with the royal emblem. So we need to return to Tariff and talk to Ahan Kiris. We will start the next episode. I have no idea what I'm starting the next episode with right now. There's a small chance that we go... Oops. That we go down... Uh, where is it? Um, oh yeah, it's way... It's right here. We go over to Bashim base and farm that, but I'm not sure yet. Um, still plenty of decisions to be made on what I want to do. And we have plenty of story quests to can, to, to finish here, um, so that I might not have to go and farm that area just yet. But I will decide and I will let you guys know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Drop it a big old like if you did, subscribe if you have not. And I'll catch you guys in the next Black Desert video. Peace!